Hi guys, welcome back on my channel. Dorota Palicka International, nail artist and educator here. Today we are going to create those beautiful nails. You can have a look here. And I hope you will really enjoy this tutorial. If you do, give me a like. If you're new to this channel, consider to subscribe. So there is lots of tutorials coming up uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, plus some extra days as well. So let's start. This time we are going to do the blink blink set as I do really miss my blink and I have choose a blue color and that's the color from the Neo Neil as a pastel blue it's a really nice color but it's a kind of see-through so it might be needed three coats but we'll see how we get on so I'm just going to paint my nails also there is a tutorial and I will give you a link in the description or in the comment where you can find the coffin shaped nails, how to do them. And I'm showing both dominant and not dominant hand. So you will know how to sculpt it. And now we are just going to paint them. So you can see this absolutely stunning color, but a little bit see-through. But I just didn't have a better option for a similar shade, so... There is also a tutorial of those news on the channel as well. And I think on some fingers we will do an ombre and I will show you a very easy way to do the ombre as well. So basically you will just paint all the client's news blue for this set. And then we are going to do different design on them. Painting not dominant hand is always pretty difficult task and usually takes us twice long as uh, doing it with the dominant hand. Finally, the last one. I just can't wait when I can go back to the cell and do some tutorials on the client's news. Like, missing it so much. I think I'm just over, like, I'm just so fed up now with all this lockdown going on for such a long time. Really miss doing a client's news. Okay, I'm just going to pop them to the lamp and give them a cure. And then to don't keep you bored, I will just speed up the process and and uh, do as many coats as needed on the speed up. <laughs> So that's the second layer cure and now we are going to go into the third one uh, so I knew it it will be uh, three layers but I just like so much the the shade of this blue it's just the consistency like disaster so with the third layer I'm just going to work around my cuticles area actually I need to twist them this way so I can see So 
such as difficult task with your left hand. <laughs> Very little product for that. Does it take you as well twice as long to paint your hand with the not dominant hand? I'm always so slow with it. On the ring finger and I think middle finger will do this beautiful ombre. I'm just twisting the hand. Okay, and now I can just put the final layer, finally. It's a shame because the color is absolutely amazing. But one of the most difficult ones I have to paint. I wouldn't even say it, I've got a really nice coverage after the third layer. also has lots of air bubbles inside. <laughs> this is called like being so determinate to use this color. Oh, come on, air bubbles, go away. I think that looks like I have just, I don't know, moved back five years at least with my nail tech skills with this gel polish. Okay, I'm just going to give it a cure. <clears throat> okay, so that's this gel polish cure and we can move on into the more exciting parts of this tutorial. Uh, we're going to do the ombre normally. I'm just applying the top coat and then bathing for the ombre, but because we are going to put some base over it as well, I don't want them to be too thick because they are really thick for me right now. So what I'm going to do is I've got a tiny wee sponge here. And then we are going to use the Paint on French gel. And this gel is so highly pigmented, that is absolutely fantastic for the ombre. Actually, I was doing some blue set once in the past as well on my nails. And I got a really nice mix of the Color Plus gel and a white, just so I was adding like the proportion to match the color I wanted. And the coverage was just like much better than this one. So normally I would apply the top coat bath it and then do the baby boomer look, uh, the ombre, but I'm going to try it how it will work without of bathing because I don't want an extra layer of the top coat. So I've got my sponge and I just went to pick up the paint on French gel and paint on French gel is so fab that it does stay more on the sponge than the gel polishes. Okay, so I'm just picking up a little bit of it and now I'm just going to dab that in. So at the top, I want to have it more kind of faded, so I'm brushing away. And at the bottom, I'm more tapping. This 
a very nice combination white and blue uh, when the when the tip is buffed with the top coat i think it's uh, leaves more product and i'm going to give it a cure and then we are going to do the second layer you need to also remember that the sponge is always absorbing and I find that if I've got kind of older sponge, it works better for me as well. Than when it is a brand new one. And the best way to clean the sponges is just a little bit at the back of the form or anything which is sticky, where you can just kind of clean the sponge from any bits and pieces and the fluffs. Okay, so now go second layer. If I'm going higher, I can search the part of the sponge which doesn't have as much product on just to blend that out more. And now put it to the lamp. So this way I think it is not as neat as if we use it on the top coat but I wanted to try it to kind of save the time for the next step because I'm really curious how this is going to look so I'm just going to give it a cure and now we are going to need the soak of base gel and this one is really strong like it does stays on and the high shine top gel so what I'm going to do is I will apply actually I'm just going to quickly top coat them as well so they're ready for the next step especially this one So quick top coat. Cure it in a lamp, just a couple seconds to flash cure it so the top coat is not going to run. And then after the flash cure we can move on into this exciting part. So I'm applying a base gel. So nice and Decent layer of the base gel. And then top coat. I don't want the inhibition layer from the base and also the top coat is nice and strong. After we have done this part, we are going to sprinkle it with the Swarovski Crystal Pixie. So I'm just placing it on the tree and I'm sprinkle that out oh my goodness okay we need to also remove the crystals which will fall off anyway that's so nice so what I'm doing is I'm just moving the crystals the ones which are on the edges. Okay, this ones as well, because they will come off anyway and they might pull another crystals. So it's always better to take them off. At the corners. What else I find it is the Swarovski pixels, the cute mute, the original one which I got like a couple years ago, have been much smaller pieces uh, than the ones I have bought recently. And I think they look prettier, but they are going to be more rough.
I don't like them too much at the edges so they don't make my needle look too thick like here and that's me happy with this look so nice I'm just going to give it a cure and if I would sprinkle it just like whatever they would be more catchy that's why it's good to kind of help them with the placement a little bit so I'm just going to give it a cure and then after this cure I can show you again it looks so nice and sparkly absolutely beautiful and it's not too bad when I touch it as well but to protect it what else you could do is just grab the tiny bit of the top coat and go around it to kind of create a smoother edge and uh, actually don't need to do it they feel pretty smooth but if you find them too rough just go with some top coat around it uh, to smooth it out now this top coat have been cured so I can actually use the soak of top gel so I can remove the inhibition layer and give them a bath so put your crystals on the side you don't want the dust in there and I need something dark blue in here So buffing them nice and I need something here as well just a little bit something mm, no yes yes okay I've got an idea <laughs> Here at the needle will be matte and shiny and the crystals as well. I quite like how it looks on the white and I quite like how it looks on the blue. So I feel like we're missing something white in here. And we're missing darker blue on this needle as well. So I'm just cleaning them with the blue scrub. So yeah, it's actually always easier for me to start deciding the, the look I want once I start doing something. And now I'm getting excited. <laughs> So I'm putting a tiny bit of the paint on French gel on the side and now I'm going to paint a white line on the on this finger here maybe not even a line let's do triangle Yeah, that will be nice. I will just grab a bigger brush for quickness. Now, because I have no control with my left hand over the pressure, it looks a little bit patchy but I'm not bothered about it because we are going to hide it with the crystal so the patchiness wouldn't be visible at all I just want to make sure it's more even the shape wise that's better she says she's not bothered and then she touches it up. Just feel like sometimes when I'm recording the tutorials that I should work quicker. And then I make messy work. 
Okay, so that's, I'm happy with this one. I can give it a cure. And in this place, we are going to place more crystals just so it's kind of match and goes together better. And then I'm missing something blue on the middle finger. So we are going to use some crystals and the base gel. On the side, I'm putting a drop of the base gel and taking the thin brush. And I think the contrast of the matte and shiny will look really nice. So uh, just after seeing, like, after I bath them, that's it looks so nice. I'm going to keep the matte, probably. Oh, yes, that's the same one. So a much darker blue. Freeze it. We also need some caviar beads and I want to use the bigger ones. So I have just placed a couple in there. I, I love the designs with the caviar beads. I think that's just kind of finish it off the crystals placement. Also missing some nice blue and the caviar beads again. Moon, stay there. Okay, freeze it in the lamp. And then let's move on into the base. So pretty decent amount of the base and the drop of the top coat and now we are going to place the crystals here I'm just going to take a dotting tool or something. Actually, I think my clients are going to love uh, those kind of Swarovski pixie over the color. Like I did on here. And then caviar beads around it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think that will look so pretty. Okay, I can pop it into the lamp. This is going to be a big bling set. <laughs> so what I gonna need is... Or maybe use the smaller ones. 
uh, I will use the smaller ones bits so I've got some small bits here and my fine line like paint micro styler brush drop of the base paint a line pick up the bits Oh my gosh, it's so chic. And then be fiddly and play with it. Okay, I will do it just one side on my own, like one side with you guys and then the other side on my own to don't keep you bored. Because it is really time consuming. Like always, the caviar beads are so time consuming, but I think they look so pretty. And as I say, because I have no control over my left hand, like it's also taking twice long. Let me check how it looks. Still not happy. But almost there. Almost, almost. Okay, so I think that will just kind of give a nice transition in between the crystals. So I will do the other side on my own. Freeze it. And the best tip I can give you, like for applying the caviar beads, do a small bit by bit. So like you would freeze it. I'll show you just here like three beads and that's it. And then apply a tiny bit more again. Do couple, then freeze it again, and then move on into the next step. So this way they are not going to move. Okay, and then you would freeze it. So that's the way you would do it. And that's the way I would just finish it off. But I really don't want to keep you bored. Now, looking for the balance. Gosh, ideally I would put one more gem in here. But, okay, I'm just going to finish it with the crystals. Like, it's not going to be anything new. I will be able to see the final look uh, of this anyway. So I will show you how to apply the matte top coat around the crystals as well. So I'm having a velour top coat and if you would apply it on top of the crystals, they would go really matte and ugly. So I'm just going around the crystals. Just around the crystals and then put the top coat on the side. Pick up your tiny brush. And just go around it with the top coat. So this way you wouldn't touch the crystals because uh, having the control over the large brush is really difficult. And you don't want to lose that shine. Okay, I will do exactly the same on this one.
I actually really like this set because it's something different due to this ombre effect with the pixie. And with the right hand, like when you, if you would be doing it with the right hand, I don't think so, it would take as long. So something I would definitely use in a salon. Quite a lot because the clients would love those kind of set of the nails. Now I'm just going to pop them into the lamp to show you the matte uh, results and then finish the caviar bits on my own. So you don't have to skip half of the video. <laughs> Okay, so that's the matte look and uh, I do really like it in matte, it looks quite nice and then this one will go matte as well and then I will place one crystal here and then show you the final results. So that's them all cure and I love the final look, look at this blink like and it's more kind of me set, I would fancy them even all like this, uh, but I do love that like Imagine all blue set and just like a wee triangle or all pink set and a triangle with the white uh, Swarovski pixie. And those kind of style is not rough because we have put it those um, bits to do like a wee transition. So it's not going to be uh, as catchy. And then on the sides here, I don't have any like much of the crystals. They are more into the center because if you put them too much on the sides, uh, they will look bulky like and they will change the shape of the of the nail so that's so nice and blinny. I will go like this and play with this hand tomorrow in the sunshine all day long because now it's almost actually a midnight isn't it? Yeah, yeah so now it's a midnight time uh, recording this tutorial for you. Yeah but thanks guys for watching. I hope I didn't keep you bored with uh, those simple steps like applying the gel polish which is not highly pigmented and it's taking three layers. Um, and uh, and you enjoyed it but also don't forget to check this tutorial if you didn't see it because uh, that's something more advanced and yeah glittery hacks and bye for now <laughs>